Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so we are we are about to head to Colorado, and that will be the first time we take that huge thing, huge thing with us, and the first time we take the Fiesta. So we will see how it does. But one thing, it's so stressful driving that thing. You don't see anything on the road. I mean, you don't know what's happening behind you. And we'll pull the Fiesta. We don't want to lose it behind it. So what we got right here? We got a reverse wireless camera kit that we are going to install today. We had no idea how to do that, haven't done it before, so stay with us, we'll try to learn together and see if it's going to work. It costs like 30 bucks on eBay, it's not one of those really really high quality, just a cheap one, but I think it will do the job. Okay, we're ready to drill some holes, so I think we'll be installing it right there on that compartment you can see. That way we can, we can see the Fiesta behind us actually when we pull it. Because otherwise, it's a little bit spooky, you don't see anything behind you. Even if you lose the car, you get a loose trap or something on the door, you don't feel it. So that's that's what we're doing now. Uh, with just the, the drill, we're going to drill a couple of holes to install the reverse reverse camera right there. And then we need to make a, make a hole to feed the wire through it somehow. We need to, we'll see how to do it because we don't want to drill a big hole through that compartment. We don't want water to get in. So uh, most likely stay with us, we'll see. We have an idea how to do it. If you guys have any suggestions, just let us know. I mean, it's the first time we do it too. It's supposed to be a wireless system. I don't know if it will catch all the way to the phone because that one is like 31 feet, I believe. So it's pretty long but we'll risk it and see if that system will work actually. So we're thinking uh, instead of putting a hole there, if we can bend a little bit that uh, aluminum aluminum piece right there to where the cable will be able to uh, go through, okay? We'll see just like that. And we can put a little bit of tape over it after that, but I don't think it will get any water inside. And that's where the system for the clean water is actually right there. And let's see now if we can feed that wire because we have a positive, negative right there. So I think I think it will work real, real good. Okay, and you can see the wire is in without drilling any more holes. So I think it will be good. We need to definitely clean that glue. Let us know guys what, how you can easily remove glue. We, we have hard time sometimes removing it and things like that. This one. If you have any suggestions, just let us know how we can do that. So now we're thinking about uh, connecting it to the tail light and when you turn your uh, actually lights on to activate the transmitter and that's when the camera will be working because we want it to work all the time so we can see what's happening behind us, not just when we back up. If we back up, we need to connect it to the reverse light. Okay, we connected it there. Hopefully we got it right. And this right here, that's a connector for the radio system, for the CD unit. So uh, I disconnected that one so I can just do it outside instead of staying in a hot camper. And those wires, you can see the ones that are paired by two to the same cover with the, and one of them has black stripe, those are for speakers, so we don't care about those. Uh, we don't need this one. And the black one is ground, as you can see right here. Red one is positive and the yellow one should be the accessory line. So that's the one we need to connect and the black one as well, the other receiver. Okay, so we actually, we were about to make a mistake. That's it, that this is the ground right here, black. But the yellow one is battery constant. We found the reading on it and we actually measured it with the voltmeter. And the red one, it says ignition switch. So uh, this one, we actually need to connect it to the black and the red one. Uh, so we will be pretty pretty convenient because black goes with black, red with red. And we need to connect the, uh, the screen as well. Screen has two more wires, black, black and red. Uh, one's negative, one's positive. So that way it will illuminate the little screen that we have here. We'll see what kind of quality that one is. Okay, let's go see what we did now. If we're going to burn something today, you never know. Something that we do for first time. Okay, we're in the cup now. This is the radio that I just pulled out. It's super easy to, to remove. So now we need to we need to connect that cable that we have right here with this one. 
that's the adapter that they bought so they can have an aftermarket unit then we just need to push it back in the radio and what we need to do now we need to make sure that when I turn the key on we are going to have uh, power to the transmitter okay which is located right here so we have light right here red light it works okay so so far nothing works now we need to see okay screen is doing something so we don't know what is happening there it's still blinking and we just figured out that we connected it to the tail lights which means we need to turn lights on okay lights on and check this one out we have connection with the back you can see okay so now we'll have a person go to the back and check out if, if it works after we dropped it a couple of times okay let's see mom went there let's see if we can if we can see her now <laughs> yep <laughs> we did so it works you can adjust the brightness colors and all that kind of stuff okay lost connection for a little bit came back but uh, so far it works good even though it's a it's a long camper we just need to leave it steady like that hey you see Your son. I... Let's put it together now. Let's see what's gonna happen if we can actually feed all the wires somehow through through the radio here. Okay, and the only wire that we need out is actually the one for the screen. Everything else should go behind it, and we have you can see we have quite a bit of room. That's one thing about it. You have room. So if we remove that gap here, we can, I think we can feed all the wires through it here. So that way it should look pretty good. And it will be a little bit hidden, not so obvious. And wires flying everywhere. Okay, we kind of closed it. So now let's connect everything back and see, see if it's going to work once we put everything together. And that, that camera you can install it on anything, that, that is pretty, pretty good. You can do it on any vehicle, even if you have a screen, you still can just buy the camera somehow and install it. Okay, it clicked, now we need to install the little trim piece right here. Okay, and now if we leave it there, let's see now if it's going to work actually. Okay, key on lights on and we have connection with the back so that's that's pretty awesome it works great so now we'll feel a little bit better driving that humongous thing uh, let us know what you guys think hopefully the video was helpful to you some of you that want to install rear view camera in the in the future because uh, it's convenient and it's less than 30 bucks on ebay it's not the best quality that's for sure but it does the job right Okay, don't forget to check out our store, it's in the description below and check out our second channel that's growing super fast.